quite an eventful week, so let's rewind to some of the major stories that made the headlines locally, regionally, and internationally. Let's dive into things. First up on the global scene, Hurricane Helene hit the USA Southeast quite hard, wreaking havoc in parts of several states, including in Florida, North and South Carolina, and in Atlanta. Up to the airing of this news video, the death toll continues to rise, with at least 63 people confirmed dead, while hundreds have been stranded without shelter, and more than 2.5 million people without electricity. In Jamaica, Prime Minister Andrew Holness continues to face backlash in some circles regarding the Integrity Commission report and ongoing debate over the referral of the PM's financial affairs for further probe. This after Kevon Stevenson, director of investigation at the Integrity Commission, had referred the matter to the Financial Investigation Division, FID, after a long illicit enrichment investigation surrounding Prime Minister Holness. Also this week, New York City's embattled mayor, Eric Adams, pleaded not guilty on Friday to federal corruption charges after prosecutors accused him of using his power and influence to garner free trips, luxury hotel stays, and questionable campaign donations. Mayor Adams is charged with bribery, wire fraud, conspiracy, and two counts of soliciting campaign contributions from foreign nationals. Despite the charges, he spoke at a press conference that the investigation is not surprising to him because he felt that he had long been targeted. This is not surprising to us at all. The actions that have unfolded over the last 10 months, yeah. the leaks, the commentary, the demonizing this did not surprise us that we reached this day and in case you missed it japan's governing party picked a new leader who will become prime minister this week he is former defense minister shigeru ishiba and after his victory was announced ishiba stood up waved bowed repeatedly and pledged to devote quote all my body and soul to regain public trust. This comes after winning voter support as the country reels from corruption scandals that drove down outgoing Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's popularity. Now to a bit of regional sport, St. Lucia's Olympic gold medalist Julian Alfred was honored at a special celebratory event on Friday and has received numerous accolades for her accomplishment. So on Friday, September 27, it was officially designated as Julian Alfred Day. The government, led by St. Lucia's Prime Minister Philip J. Pair, announced several significant honors for the 22-year-old sprint sensation during the event. Among the most notable was the announcement that the Millennium Highway would be renamed the Julian Alfred Highway. In addition, a monument will be constructed in her honor. She will also receive a government gift of EC $1 million, which is about $370,000 US dollars, as well as a plot of land of her choice measuring 10,720 square feet and more. Julian, of course, became the first St. Lucian to win a medal in the Olympics. She received a gold medal in the 100 meter at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games and received a silver in the 200 meter event. And finally in entertainment, embattled hip hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs has expressed that he wants to testify at his criminal trial. Now that's according to his attorney. So his criminal trial is on the basis for charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. And according to the rap mogul's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, in an interview for a new TMZ documentary, he said, quote, I don't know that I can keep him off the stand. He is very eager to tell his story, end quote. Diddy is currently awaiting trial at New York City's notorious Metropolitan Detention Center, a facility that also is home to fellow singer 
R. Kelly. And that's a wrap on some of the major stories that made the news in the week that was. Be sure to subscribe to The Trailblazers with Tamara TV right here on YouTube for regular news updates, features, interviews, and more. In addition to our flagship televised inspirational show, The Trailblazers with Tamara. By the way, have a look at this 2019 interview that presidential aspirant Kamala Harris did back when she was a senator talking about her book, her childhood, and so much more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.